light, cereals, rock, music, mystery. Listen to these clues, and then pick the right answer from the side panel of the cereal box, and you could become one of over 75,000 winners. In the summer of 1970, Elton John burst onto the American scene. Flamboyant and outrageous, Elton attracted fans of all ages with his bigger-than-life concerts. Hit after hit followed. Rocket Man, Benny and the Jets, and this all-time favorite song. Can you name it? When a friend called up Katrina Liscottish to congratulate her for her band's success in the United States, she didn't know what to say. The band's first single had not even been released yet in America, but this song's enormous popularity in Canada had filtered down onto the American airwaves. Can you name the tune that put Katrina and the Waves in the top ten? the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin was the daughter of a Detroit preacher. She went on to become one of the most influential and popular performers in the world. From her breakthrough 60s hits such as Respect, Chain of Fools, and Natural Woman, to her 1986 recording with Eurythmics of Sisters Are Doing It For Themselves, Aretha still rules over pop and soul. The title song from her most recent Smash album also became a top 10 hit. Name it. <laughs> Spencer Davis Group arrived in America in 1967 and is probably best remembered for introducing a teenage whiz kid named Steve Winwood. Steve went on to form Traffic and the first British supergroup Blind Faith along with Eric Clapton. Last year, Winwood hit number one with the gorgeous song Higher Love, but his first big hit is still considered an all-time rock classic. Can you name it? <laughs> on the side panel of the box and you may be on your way to winning a prize in Life Serial's Rock Music Mystery. You may enter as often as you wish. However, each entry must be mailed separately. See official rules for details. Competition void were prohibited.